Hi, my name is Kim Hunter, and along with James Hart, I co-direct the Woodward Line Poetry Series in Detroit. James and I began the monthly series about 13 years ago in a funky little gallery uh, that was also a theater over on Michigan Avenue. It was under another name then. Uh, back in those days, we operated with very small grants and whatever pocket cash we could scrape together to keep things going. Fortunately, in Michigan, in Detroit, we have a lot of great writers, NEA writers, Guggenheim writers, Cave Conum fellows, who were willing to stick with us through those lean years. Even so, James and I wanted to pay the writers what they were worth. We're writers, and we appreciate the craft and the work that goes into what those folks have been presenting to our audiences. Two great things have happened since those early days. One, we got to move here to the Scarab Club. This place has incredible history. Diego Rivera and Marcel Duchamp are among the luminaries who have signed the beams here. And downstairs, it's wonderful. A very light and warm gallery. All of the writers that come here remark about how wonderful it is. The audiences love to come here month after month. The other great thing that happened was back in 2013, we got a Night Arts Challenge Detroit Award. 1,400 groups applied for that award. 56 were chosen. We were one of the 56. What that meant for us is that we got $30,000. $15,000 a year for two years. Here's the thing. It's a matching grant. That means before any funds are released, we have to raise money to match it. We got a grant from the Michigan Council for the Arts, and that's helped a great deal. We need to raise $5,000 to get us through to the next grant cycle. What are we going to use that money for? Well, we need chairs. We have old plastic chairs. Sometimes they open, sometimes they don't. Uh, we need a sound system. The poets can't be heard sometimes in the back row. It's an old building. Uh, the floors creak just when people uh, move their chairs around, let alone when they walk in and out. Uh, in order to make the poetry more accessible, which is part of our grant, we record video of the readings, we record video of conversations that we have with the poets, and we post edited versions of that stuff online. We're trying to broaden the audience. We're trying to let folks know that Detroit has a great literary community through the web. The main thing that the money will go for, though, is to bring in great writers from out of town and right here in Michigan. That community of writers and great audiences is why we have been working so hard the past 13 years, long past the hours of our respective day jobs, to try to keep things together. We know Detroit has a lot of challenges. We believe a city with or without challenges deserves art. And we believe Detroit deserves poetry. Help us keep this community together.